this is Pooja from a small leopard today. We are going to start class 7 and see our chapter number 2 exercise 2.2 question number 3, 4, 5. Hello friends, now let's start class 7 and see our chapter number 2 exercise 2.2 question okay. number 3 is multiply and reduce to lowest form and convert into mixed fraction. So now let's understand and solve. So question number 3 is telling that we have to multiply and we have to reduce the given, uh, we have to reduce the solution into lowest form or we can convert into mixed fraction so our first question is 7 into 3 by 5 so we can write 7 as 7 by 1 so we know in our previous uh, videos we have learned that while multiplying the fractions we have to multiply the numerator with the numerator and the denominator with the denominator so 7 into 3 divided by 1 into 5 is equals to 7 3 is a 21 by 1 plus a 5. So now uh, we can reduce it into lowest form. So we will write into mixed fraction. So 5 4 is a 20. So 21 minus 20 is 1 which will go in numerator and 5 will come in denominator please. So our answer came 4 whole 1 by 5. Question number 3 part 2 is 4 into 1 by 3. So we can write 4 as 4 by 1. So we have to multiply numerator with the numerator and denominator with the denominator. So 4 into 1 is 4 by 1 into 3 is 3. So now we will, uh, we can't uh, reduce it to lowest form. So we will write into mixed form. So 3 1s are 3. 4 minus 3 came 1 by 3. So our answer came 1 whole 1 by 3. Question number 3 part 3 is 2 into 6 by 7. So we can write 2 as 2 by 1. So we have to multiply the numerator with the numerator and the denominator with the denominator. So 2 6 are 12 by 7. So it can't be reduced in lowest form. So we will write into mixed fraction. So 7 1s are uh, 7. So 12 minus 7 came 5. And uh, the um, denominator would be 7. So our answer came 1 whole 5 by 7. Question number 3 part 4 is 5 into 2 by 9. So we can write 5 as 5 by 1. So we have to multiply the numerator with the numerator and the denominator with the denominator. So 5 2 is a 10 by 1 9 is a 9. So it can be reduced in lowest form. So we will write into mixed form. So 9 1s are 9. 10 minus 9 came 1. And the denominator would be 9. So our answer came 1 whole 1 by 9. Question number 3 part 5 is 2 by 3 into 4. So we can write 4 as uh, 4 by 1. So we will multiply the numerator with the numerator and the denominator with the denominator. So 2 into 4 is 8 and 3 into 1 is 3. So we can't reduce in lowest form. So we will write into mixed fraction. So uh, 3 2s are 6 and 8 minus 6 came 2 and the denominator would be 3. So our answer came 2 whole 2 Number by 3 part 6 is 5 by 2 into 6. So we can write 6 as 6 by 1 is equals to we will multiply the numerator with the numerator and the denominator with the denominator. So 5 6 is 30 by 2 1 is 2. So uh, in 2 table 30 comes so this answer would be a whole number. So 2 table 30 comes 1s are 2, uh, 1 and 10. So 15 times. So the answer would be 15. Question number 3 part 7 is 11 into 4 by 7. So we can write 11 as 11 by 1. So we will multiply the numerator with the numerator and the denominator with the denominator. So 11 fours are 44 by 1 into 7 is 7. So it can be reduced into lowest form. So we will write into mixed fraction. So 7, 6 is 42. So 44 minus 42, 42 is 2 and the 7 will be the denominator. So our answer came 6 whole 2 by 7. Question number 3 part 8 is 20 into 4 by 5. So we can write 20 into 20 by 1. So we will multiply the numerator with the numerator and the denominator with the denominator. So 2 is 8. 
zero by one into five is five. So in five table eighty comes, so five ones are five. Eighty minus five came three, uh, zero came down, so five six is thirty. So our answer came sixteen. Question number three, part nine is thirteen into one by three. So we can write thirteen as uh, thirteen by one. So we will multiply the numerator with the numerator and the denominator with the denominator. So thirteen into one came thirteen, and th one three is a three. So in thirteen table, uh, means thirteen by three doesn't reduce into lowest form. So we will convert into mixed fraction. Answer came four whole one by three. Question number three, part ten is fifteen into three by five. So we can write fifteen as fifteen by one. So we will multiply the numerator with the numerator and the denominator with the denominator. So fifteen into three is forty-five by one uh, into five is five. So in five table forty-five comes, which is nine. So our answer is two point two. Question number four is we have to shape the shapes in the given boxes according to the given. Fraction. So now let's solve question, question number four, part one is one by two of the given circles. So now there is a problem that how many circles we will share. So to find that we will multiply the given one by two into the number of circles. So the number of circle is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. So there are twelve circles. So we will multiply one by two into twelve. So in two table twelve cuts in six time. So one into six is six. This means we have to share uh, six of the given circles in the box. Question number four part two is two by three of the given triangles. So to find that how many triangles we will share, we will multiply two by three into the number of uh, triangles given in the box. So two by three into the number of uh, triangles given in the box is nine. So in three table nine cuts in three time. So three two is a six. So this means that we have to uh, share six triangles. The given triangles in the box. Question number four part three is three by five of the given. Square. So to find that how many square we will share, we will multiply three by five into the given numbers of square. So three by five into the given number of square is fifteen. So in five table fifteen comes three times. So three three is a nine. This means we have to share nine the box. Exercise two point two question number five is find. Uh, a bit is one by two of first part is twenty four and second part is forty six. Now let's understand. Question it. number five bit A first part is one by two of twenty four. So we can write this as one by two into twenty four. So in two table twenty four comes twelve time. So one into twelve is twelve. Question number five, bit A, second part is one by two of forty-six. So we can write this as one by two into forty-six. So in two table forty-six comes twenty-three times. So one into twenty-three came twenty. Question number five, B bit is two by three of first part is eighteen, second part is twenty-seven. Question number five, B bit is first part two by three of eighteen. So we can write this as two by three into eighteen. So three table eighteen comes six time. So six two is a twelve. Ah, uh, second part is two by three of twenty seven. So we can write this as two by three into twenty seven. So in three table twenty seven comes nine time. So nine two is a eighteen. Question number five, bit C is three by four of part one is sixteen, part two is thirty-six. Question number five, bit C, first part is three by four of sixteen. We can write this as three by four into sixteen. So in four table, sixteen comes four time, and the four three is a twelve. Now part two is three by four of thirty-six. So we can write this as three by four into thirty-six. And in four table thirty six comes nine ten, so nine three is a twenty seven. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव बिट डी इज फोर बाई फाइव ऑफ पार्ट वन इज ट्वेंटी पार्ट टू इज थर्टी फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव बिट डी फर्स्ट पार्ट इज फोर बाय फाइव ऑफ ट्वेंटी सो वी कैन राइट दिस एज फोर बाय फाइव इन टू ट्वेंटी इन फाइव टेबल ट्वेंटी कम्स फोर टाइम एंड फोर फोर जो सिक्सटीन पार्ट टू इज फोर बाय फाइव ऑफ थर्टी फाइव वी कैन राइट दिस एज फोर बाय फाइव इन टू थर्टी फाइव In five table, thirty-five comes seven times, so seven fours are twenty-eight.